Hi, I'm Photon EM and welcome to Clan Folk. Today I'm going to do a how to get started in orphans video and uh, just show you some stuff that I've learned to uh, make the start more successful. And uh, so if we go to new game, oh, I've been fiddling around this morning, so let's just make sure it's random. Um, what I'm starting to lean towards for settings is this. Um, because the forest does tend to um, get less over time because you clear cut it at first and uh, grassland seems to be needed for bunnies to spawn and this doesn't seem to affect the bunny spawn so and then the lakes um, it's really important at first to get a lot of reeds but I think we're fine like this we'll see how it goes so um, Let's take a look here. Uh, so what I want is mountain close to lake, a big lake, so it has good fishing. And this seems to fit the bill. The bad thing about this location is getting to the bunnies and the, <laughs> and the hay. And oh, here's some flax right here. That's not too bad. I mean the oats. The oats are crazy far away. Um, the other option is using two lakes and going here. But let's go ahead and do this map and then we'll see um, we'll see like which one has iron. Let me just think about that. Yeah. Okay, so build clan. So we're gonna do orphans. Okay, this is where success begins or ends, I think. You've got to have a crafter. Here we have two. You've got to, I, I think the multiplier on crafting is probably better than the like, but, but just one or the other, because you're going to have your people doing both of their top skills. You've also got to have nobody who hates caregiving, because all three of them have to like caregiving, and I recommend, or have to do caregiving, so that one will just be miserable. And I recommend um, that you don't have anybody who likes or has a multiplier on caregiving because it's kind of a waste. They all have to do it. So I like having a crafter and a builder, um, but having mining and repair as top skills isn't great and having two crafters is kind of a waste. So I'm gonna reroll. Um, Okay, so there's no crafter here. Yes, we can reroll individual ones, but it's a waste of money. This is a very much a waste. So you want crafting? Must have. And then after that, we want some combination. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we want building, cooking, hunting, harvesting, gathering. Those are kind of important skills, so. I'm just, if I see that one of them loves medicine, I'm just clicking reroll. So here we've got crafting plus clothes isn't amazing. This is, this is, yeah, we have two cleaners. Crafting plus building is bad because you need different people doing those at first. Crafting, this one likes medicine. Yeah. It's not, I, I don't think you want two crafters. Okay, I think this is the one we're going to go with. Rory doesn't have amazing skills. They'll be good eventually. We've got a builder and a crafter, a harvester. Those are the three important ones. And then this one does become very important, so that's okay. And then we just have some kind of side ones, which, um, you know, it's fine. You're not going to get perfect. I've seen some people re-roll until they don't have any Afraid of the Dark. I'm just going to ignore Afraid of the Dark. Okay, no. Don't do what I do. Because what happens is I get so busy re-rolling, then I forget to pick a tartan. Um, this one's kind of pretty. Campbell. Alright. And then, next thing. This is important too. Buy some dried mushrooms. You have a lot of money. The dried mushrooms... Um, so smoked meat, this is 10,000 nutrition points. Dried mushrooms, ten, uh, five smoked meat is 10,000 nutrition points. 20 dried mushrooms 
is 14,000 nutrition points. And this is half the gold. So you get more nutrition for less gold. And uh, I think that's a good deal. So we'll go ahead and buy some of that. That'll help us not have to do a lot of berry gathering at first. Another thing you can consider if you want a different kind of playthrough is to get rid of these chickens and buy a billy and nanny goat. Um, but we're just going to go with the standard right now. So let's get started. Okay, well we started by this lake. That's interesting. Let's look around for some iron. There's some. This is a big mountain not to have iron in it. And then over by the other lake that we had looked at. We don't see any obvious iron. There's gold over there. Um, gold is going to be coming. Obviously, gold. Is, there is gold, but... And you can make gold ingots, but you can't make anything out of them or sell them, so... So I guess this is our lake, but there's really not a lot of iron. Right here. But maybe we dig into these mountains and find some more. So, on the last playthrough I did, I advised not living inside the mountains, but for orphans, um, I actually would prefer to find iron like here and dig that out and have them live inside the mountain there, but that's not what we found. But for this playthrough, I think living inside the mountains is okay. Um, or even you can find an area like this and build a roof across it and it's easier to close it in. Uh, like here's one. Even something like this, you could mine it out, put in a back door, um, or here. Yeah, this actually I'm thinking of re-rolling it. Because we really want the iron closer to our lake. Let's check out this other one, just in case. Oh, here. This is what you want. So then you... It serves a dual purpose to mine this out, both for living quarters and to get the iron. But this is a terrible area for your base. Let's take a look at wildlife. Yeah, see? Over here, there's like no wildlife. It'd be nice to have a wildlife overlay. Huh, I don't see any foxes. There's gotta be some that I'm not seeing. Yep, I'm gonna re-roll. <laughs> okay, here we are. <laughs> I think I had to re-roll the map three times and that's the first time I've ever had to do that. So don't be discouraged. Um, but anyway, we're here. Let me show you the, the clans folk that we got. Um, this map is okay. I'll show it to you in just a sec, I guess. So this one loves cooking and is good at hunting. This one loves building and is good at farming, uh, I guess, I don't know. Um, and this one loves crafting and is good at harvesting, which we'll put in that order. Actually, this one we do want, you'd think it'd be the opposite, but we want them to cook all the raw stuff first and then they can hunt and then they can go back to cooking. And then and the next thing we want is we want to put, just down the list, we want to put whatever these ones are doing, we don't want the other ones to do, with the exception maybe of building. Um, and later on, of course, we'll be tweaking everything. Um, so we'll do something like that. We want gathering high. And then to start off here, we want hauling as well. Just kind of high, whatever. Um, yeah, this, this is fine. Um, and then we brought our mushrooms with us. So we are going to harvest one bush. And that's going to be on a higher priority. Now this might seem a little strange what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do a huge branch harvesting. 
um, command. And then I'm going to turn it off once they discover wattle walls. And then this is our iron seam around this lake. It's not... This lake isn't amazing, but this one is, is amazing. Let's just make sure, yeah. This is fine. This is where they can um, wash up and stuff. And then we can put cooking. Here's some more iron too. See, normally it isn't that hard to find good iron. And I didn't even look at the whole map because I wanted to build over here. But I mean, in terms of I didn't look for iron everywhere because this is where I wanted to build somewhere around here. Um, but this is our map. Uh, and so where we are, it's kind of far from over here. If there's a lot of wildlife over here, then that could be an issue. There's a fox. There's a fox. Um, there's some bunnies up in this area. And okay, so I will let them get started on that. And then we're going to want to notice I didn't make we're going to want to gather these stones over here. I haven't made a place for them to wash yet. Let's let them gather some stuff first. And then we'll think about a place for them to wash. So I'll put food... I guess I'll put food here. And then um, we can do like crafting around here maybe. So I'll put an ingredient. This is just for the beginning, okay? We're going to let them put sticks there. But we're going to gather a whole bunch of sticks. Enough to unlock wattle walls so we have that as an option. And then we'll let them tend to the babies and gather stones. The babies are going to be fine for a couple minutes in poopy diapers. So, okay, you know what? I changed my mind about this. First of all, the food one needs to be a higher priority. Let's put, let's do crafting over here so it's not like crazy. Because we're always going to have trees really far away if we do it here. Food, crafting for now can go here. That's fine. Okay. We didn't get all the branches that I want yet, so that kind of sucks, but I'm just going to move on. We'll go ahead and put in a work zone, and then what we're going to want, the beds are going to be right here, so we're going to want to put in... Wash zone, this is fine. People say you can't put it on rocks. They're gonna gather those rocks. And we'll put some drinking over here. And I'm, I'm gathering a lot at first. And it might seem like they have better things to do, they don't. Okay, so we made this. We'll just queue up that, that up for one. We'll have them go ahead and put stones here as well. See, now they're going to wash all the babies, but that's okay. We got our sticks to get us started. I should have maybe thought about hauling the sticks too before I let them clean the babies. <laughs> but it's okay. All right, so now on this playthrough, I do think it's super important. Oops as I mess it up, to make sure that you are only clearing grass that's fully grown, even though we want this area cleared out to put in our wash zones and stuff, because you don't want them spending the time to clear grass that's close enough to fully grown. That isn't going to give them the full amount of, of straw. So just look at how much it says extract saw 14 out of straw, 14 out of 20 right here. That's a no-go. So we'll just do something like this. And then I'm also going to... Don't worry about this stuff as much. 
Um, we do need a thresher. I'll just put it over here because I don't care about it. And then we can go ahead and put in sleep zones. This is fine. And then the priority on this is down. Yeah, I really want to, I almost am thinking about doing an emergency priority on our mushrooms. It should be over here somewhere. Or I'll just turn up somebody's hauling because we want those mushrooms over here. Another important thing is don't let them haul straw. Okay, let's put washing a little closer. And then the drink zone, same thing. Um, and I said I would cook down here, right? So we could use this place. Um, so we'll go like this. And we will put in two eel traps right here. And there. Planting, we've unlocked reeds. We'll plant reeds um, on the last day, that, like on the 5th or the 4th, so that we can get another batch before winter. Did we unlock hay roof? No. Okay, now this is super important for orphans. Super important. Pay attention to this part. Put your wash zones right by the beds. So when they get the baby out of bed, they take it right there and wash as close as you can. And then guess what? We're going to put the poop holes right here. So they take the baby to poop, wash them, bed if they need to go to bed, and done. Okay, so that is like the key to getting started in orphans. Um, let's cover this and then... Um, let's see, we just unlocked cooking fire. Um, I'll put it here and then... I'm going to just move this a little bit. Oh my god. Okay, we need to cover that. That. Not that. Okay. I'm just going to move this... Um, uh... I'm going to move the food storage closer to the fire, so maybe the fire will auto um, load onto this. Like, I'm not sure if it's close enough, but it might be. Okay, then let's see. Gather. Let's just get those stones out of the way. So, yeah. And then I'm going to queue up some more stick gathering for tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, so our eels got made. I'm going to do wait for tomorrow so they don't bother with it today. Um, but we'll get some eels out of this lake tomorrow and then we'll clear some space over here. The second eel trap I should have just built right here. That's what I'll do. So let's go um, to hunting eel trap right here. And this one, I'll just cancel it. This lake isn't going to have very many eels. I think you can do 12 per day at 100% um, or around that. This one's at 48%, so I guess six eels a day or just under. Um, so we'll set this one to five and we'll set this one to 10. This lake can do 12 eels a day, so should be okay. Um, let's put these higher priority. 
because maybe I'll just do all the eels here eventually. Who knows? I don't know. These don't have to be a higher priority. Okay, so day one of orphans. Now, of my when I do the other playthrough with the full family, I have a covered area for them to sleep by the end of day one. But this isn't bad, I don't think. We've got um, we've got eels unlocked. We've got let's make this the highest priority, like that. Um, we've got a uh, space to wash up right by our beds. Um, we've got enough straw to build roofs. Uh, I'd really like to know if it's possible for it to rain on day one. I've never seen it, but that doesn't mean anything. And then you want to keep on top of these. We definitely want our stone hoe. And we got flammable blocker. Now. This is something I was talking about in my last playthrough. Yeah, I think this looks like it goes into this tile. And if it doesn't, I think they make a smaller ring. Like this ring, I don't know. I don't know if this if these can I'd like to test it actually. But we're going to put a flammable blocker diagonally. I'm not sure if that's needed. And we're going to set this to 15 because babies love eels everybody knows it and this will be to 10 and you definitely want to keep your task number down tilled soil okay so now this is important we'll just put in three it's going to be ugly as hell when people visit us. This is where they're going to poop. I'm sorry. Um, so twine, we want 20. So I queued up the axe like that because I want them to build the axe first and then they can just go wild on twine. Although I do think that unlocks... I definitely want to harvest the stuff closer to us first, so that's why I'm doing this as it becomes available. It looks like it's all fully grown now, except for this one tile. Okay. So I was going to say I could just do a blanket clear. Okay, so we got the pickaxe, so I'm going to make that after this twine. storage we don't care about. We don't need to chop down a tree right now, I don't think, although it would give us some branches. Sleep mats. Closed zone. Um, it needs to be done eventually, but maybe I'll put it over here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get the beds. We'll just do the baby's bed last. How much straw do I have? 50. Okay. The problem is if they don't build all the beds, then... Oh, you know what? Two. I'm gonna wait... We really need this roof. So. Okay, we can mine into the mountain now. I'm going to wait until some of this stuff is built, though. I might, though. I might have them cut down some trees because we're low on sticks. So the trees is the same thing. I'm going to make sure they're completely built. I mean, completely grown. What you want to look at is extract log 2 out of 5, extract branches 5 out of 20. That's if you cut it down. Gather branches is if you do a gather. So like this one, 
is fully grown, but it doesn't have six out of six branches to gather, that's fine. Who cares? That's totally fine. So the reason you need this closed zone, which I should have put on a... I should have put a stopper on it. Um, they're not going to get to these by tonight. Is for the sack. You don't need anything else. Actually, I don't know if I have somebody prioritized to do clothing, which I don't want. Okay, good. So we can do, they can build a sack when they're out of things to do. Okay, so for this scenario, I told you kind of how to get started. You know, uh, you want like a covered area for when it rains. Um, and, you know, all this stuff I've been doing is pretty standard, I think, except for this. Um, and we can move this right there so uh, I can plant reeds just all along here and not worry about it. Um, what? So the only different part is the poop hole and making sure they wash right next to it, right next to the beds. And of course you want this pretty close um, and build next to a seam so we can take advantage of the under mountain area. Okay. Um, but the next part that we want to do is we want to rush the traveler, uh, the traveling worker sign. So we want to get this opened up, get some real beds, and be able to hire workers as soon as possible. And if you think about it, you could even hire a worker in the morning, use that worker to build the walls and beds in their own bed or whatever, and then um, they'd have a decent place to sleep by the nighttime. So, something to think about. I really wish they wouldn't light this up at night. But you could think about also um, putting this like here so they can actually see the light since so many of them are afraid of the dark. I just kind of, eventually I don't want it right next to their beds. So I just put it kind of where it was surrounded by mountains so it doesn't burn anything. Okay, so it's morning of day three and we have two days of food and that's mostly because of the mushrooms, although they've eaten some berries and some eels. Oh God, here's some eels right here. Um, but it's not raining yet. And I did have them, yeah, they're gonna cook first. As long as it's eels, it might be okay to hunt first, because what they'll do is just queue it up. Okay, and then for today, yeah, we need them to harvest all this. I'm just going to put harvesting ahead of building. So for your teenagers, you're going to have to constantly fiddle with their priorities. But let's get this lake harvested, the upper one, and we'll wait on this one. But we'll just get that all. Okay, we finally got enough sticks to get Waddle Wall. And I don't have anybody prioritized to do logging, apparently, but that's okay. Well, <laughs> he's got a lot going on, actually. Um, so... I probably need somebody else to do that. Like this. Yeah. Where is our hunter? They're doing baby care. Okay. So we also want an area for our animals too. I haven't forgotten them. I just haven't built an area yet. Uh, and it might be like here, depending on where the iron takes us. But we want it in a separate room because we want our workers to be happy. Um, another thing, let's talk about their ages. Okay, so it's kind of the start of day three. These babies had zero age at the start of day one. So now they have 3,000. The wiki doesn't say there's 18,000 seconds in a day, but if you look at 
what it says about juveniles and how long it takes them to age and stuff, that's the conclusion. But you can see it's more like 1500, based on how old this baby is right now. So I don't know. It, I mean, it could have something to do more with like computer processor speed. But uh, I actually, for the first time in my life, bought a gaming computer. So my computer processing speed is pretty fast. I'm not, you know, it wasn't the fastest one that was available. Um, so I'm gonna put like hide rack, meat rack, or hide processing, I don't know. No, meat rack can go here because of this. Hide rack and hide processing, it doesn't matter which one. What else did we unlock? Oh, flute. Eh. How are we doing on... We need to cook. Our cook is cooking. That's good. This makes me nervous. Oh, I didn't queue up the wait till tomorrow part. I mean the repeat. This one I did. Okay, so what we want is... The hide rack, it doesn't matter what order these go in. Um, I just like these because of the automatic. I don't know if it'll... It, yeah, I don't know. Uh, okay, so we have more things we can craft. So we want to keep one bow in stock. Um... So, on the orphans, eventually you want meat, sure, but right now we might want um, to, not, to not spend their time on it because they're getting enough calories here from the eels. Um, okay, I don't know. I'll build, I'll make two. And we'll see, and then we can have a flute after that. No, I'll wait on the flute. Hide shelf is gonna go there. Okay, uh, oh, she's got one more to do. Oh my god, he. I thought she did harvesting, I guess it's Hugh. Okay, so now I'm gonna put Hugh's building. No. Harvesting, then crafting. Oh, that's okay. We'll leave it like that. I must be thinking of a different playthrough. We want the building to get done here. We might not be able to do the snares because of the twine. We'll see. Okay, so now we have animal beds. That's great. I'm going to wait just a minute. Are we even going to get these beds? I just forgot to put them in. Okay, and we made a uh, we made a bow. What's gonna happen is if I hunt a fox, which if there's one it, like the foxes do seem to eat the wild rabbits, because there will be less rabbits wherever the foxes are, <gasps> which makes complete sense. Um. But it looks like the foxes are way over here. There's three of them way, way over here. So I'm just going to let them be. Um, and then tomorrow we'll put out some snares for these rabbits. I'm not in a hurry to hunt them. I am in a hurry to get these beds built, though. I might have to make a spare sleeping spot. Spare sleeping spot. Because we're gonna, we obviously need some twine here. Okay, it's morning of the fourth. One thing that I should have done is assign one of the teenagers to the bed that's actually made. Because they'll get better sleep and they'll work better, and a baby slept in it last night. But I think by the end of the day, we should have all our beds. But just in case we don't. 
See how they go just right from here to here? That's what we want. Although they have to go down here to feed them. And I put my cook back on cooking before hunting, so... Oh, but they're hunting first anyway. Oh, maybe I didn't. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, so our snare got built. Let's put that out. Um, let's find an area with a lot of bunnies. Um, this one, no, those are chickens. I'm building two snares, so, um, I think this is closer. Let's put one there. And then what I'll do is, okay, just in case we don't get all the beds built, let's assign these three. Uh, and yeah, we have, I've ignored the clay. I've ignored the fact that we can start mining. What's going to be more important is getting the signs done. Damn it. So what does it take for the sign? That's not even showing up here yet. Um, but I think, I think it might take ingots. It definitely takes several large rocks. Okay, somebody in my comments um, told me how to do this, which is find the ingredient, large rock, and say bookmark, and then it'll show up up here. Super handy. Like, I don't care about that. I don't know if I care about cooked eels and stuff either, but... It's raw meat, but it's fine. Okay, are you going to... No. Uh, yeah, I gotta put cooking higher for him. I hate having hunting and cooking on the same one. But that's just the way it worked out. Now he's caring for a baby. We gotta cook those eels. Look at this. That one's been sitting there all night. Now what? Now you're caring for a baby. I think it is the one who's closest, so that makes it hard for the cook too. Because they're constantly um, caring for the baby. Oh, he's got to get sticks. Okay. I should probably... I should probably move crafting down to here. I kind of forgot about six being needed in both places. So we'll put six there and then we'll get rid of this. And maybe I'll move, put this over here. I don't know. Right now I don't care. Okay, how are we doing on our tasks? 12. Okay, this is great. This is great. We've cooked all our eels. No, we haven't apparently. Oh, he's getting some sticks. Cook the last of them. We've made all our beds. So now we can gather some clay. You know what? I'll gather it down here since we're going to move crafting over there. And I can also queue up some mountain mining. And I'll have to put in a wall so the after this row so that this roof doesn't collapse. So we'll just see how that'll go. Just making sure I didn't build the same thing twice. Okay. Okay. I might need to gather some mushrooms or something soon. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know what? The sign requires charcoal. And we're going to put a roof here. And gather those stones and put a stockpile right here and that stockpile is going to be for ash and charcoal and of course they're building the roof first but <laughs> we really need the kiln first straw and clay okay so now we need more straw at this point in the game 
all this straw should be completely built. So let's go ahead and have our builder. We'll do that tomorrow. We'll do that tomorrow. No, don't, don't pack it up. Okay. So all of our beds are here. So on this scenario, I put the charcoal to 20 until we have enough staff to keep it higher. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god, look how far he's walking. Yeah, we're definitely going to put this over here. And then we can also go just for now. I don't know, not this. We could just move the tools as well. This is fine. I don't care. We'll move. We'll, we'll move the thresher once it gets. Um, once I actually want to use it for something. Uh, okay. So the coal. I, I always wanting to move things here. I probably want to put the kilns right here. I'll just put them here. And then this can go here. And that way I don't have to clear these stones. And the kilns can go here. Yeah. It'll be okay. Okay, we unlock corpses, and I kind of think it's that happens when, like, a rabbit dies on the map. And it could have. Nope, there's one snare not used. And where's the other one? So let's try. Oh, I know where the other one is. I remember. It's over here. So they haven't put up the snares yet, so that's not it. Dob walls. Unlocked kiln. Oh, good, okay. So now we can put charcoal and ash here. And we'll up the priority on that. Um, and that gives us our first sign. Uh... Let's put, uh, I don't want it right next to the poop holes, so let's put it there. Maybe I'll start with just one kiln, and then this sign is a higher priority. And then we're going to need a lot more rocks, but maybe they'll start mining. <laughs> As you can see, um, I guess I could clear some of these rocks. And I just put a tool storage to maybe get the tools a little closer, but whatever. Um, today's day five, so we actually need to plant. And I might put them all on planting. I'll leave one, two, I'll leave a couple spots open here for like flax and, um, fishing posts and stuff. I don't think I'll use a fishing post, but... Okay, so now, crucially important is the job board. We have to have a job board, which means we have to have large stones to build all this. Um, and I'm debating, like, just up upping somebody's uh, mining priority. Yeah, no can do there. This one, I guess. Okay, um, Hugh, as soon as he's done crafting here, I put him on planting. So we can get two of them going. Because, uh, we want as much reeds as we can get, even though, I mean, there are a lot of reeds here, but... Yeah. 
It'll slow down our sign though. Sign building. I've, um, the best I've done with the job board sign is getting it by day eight. Because <laughs> we need to mine out all of this or do something so we have an enclosed sleeping area too before we take on a visitor. Again, they can help with some of it. It's just, you know, making sure that it can all get done in one day. And if they don't do, I might have to put them on overwork. Yeah, because we need to get this done. Of course, somehow overwork includes caring for the babies who are already in bed. Oh, we got a traveler. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. That's going to hurt our rep. But we don't have any rep yet. Okay, let's turn off that sign. Oops. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't think you can get negative rep. You just have... I mean, if you've built some up, it'll go down. But it can't go into the negatives. <laughs> I don't think. Okay, so we didn't get it all put in. Um, and I'm thinking about just turning the rest of them off. If we get these in tomorrow, how come these two get to sleep and she's still up? We'll see. If they can do them tomorrow morning, it might be okay. And then we'll take them off of overwork. I don't use overwork very much because uh, it's not a very good long-term thing to do. This one I didn't even put on farming, so. Okay, folks, it's sunrise on day six. We did get all of our reeds put in that were queued up, and then I took them off of overwork, so they got a tiny bit of sleep. Let's see what it says. It doesn't say anything about lack of sleep. Um, I would have some debuffs in that case if I planted reeds until three in the morning. But anyway, it's the start of day six. I think we're gonna end it there, and we'll do the rest of spring um, in the next episode. And yeah, I hope you got some ideas here for dealing with the orphan scenario. You know, I think the main thing to keep in mind is this whole setup that we did at the beginning has saved us a lot of time. Because if they're walking back and forth from poop holes that are over here, it takes a lot. Um, or washing zones that are over here when your beds are right there. Yes, this would be very gross. <laughs> and not at all advisable, but... For this scenario, it's good, and also um, taking advantage of the mountain um, mining area, I think, uh, is important, and we'll see that in the next episode. So thanks so much for watching. I'm Futon Like, comment, subscribe. See you next time.